welcome back to my channel so today we are talking about how to take the first step and this is actually <laughs> my cat is here <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite topic um, because this is something for some reason that I've always been an expert on like I have this like fearless thing about me where you know what I'm gonna share actually my mentality and you know hopefully that's gonna resonate so I have this mindset that you know one day we're all gonna die and for me like the worst thing would be to have regrets um, yeah and of course there are things that we can regret but loving yourself and focusing on you know, leveling up and being the best version of yourself is not something you can regret. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like all the decisions around that and all the choices and experiences are always going to be positive at the end when you focus on yourself and you focus on loving yourself, you know, in the best possible way. So what does that have to do with the winter art challenge? So when we do any sort of goal setting or challenge all right usually what happens and i notice that a lot of people don't talk about that what makes us feel um separate from that goal or what creates this like procrastination because that's usually how people call it they're like i know i have to do it but i'm not doing it or i'm not being consistent about it you know Usually what happens is actually something in the subconscious mind within the nervous system. So whenever we're trying something new, it is absolutely normal for a nervous system to be like, what is that? Like, no, I don't want to do it. It's new. It doesn't feel familiar, even though it might actually be good for us, you know? So this is actually really important. If you know that you want to do something like let's take the winter art challenge as an example like you know in your heart you're like this is going to be so good for me I want to have this transformation um I want to focus on myself I want to be the best version of myself uh I want to have a glow up whatever it is you know and if you're not taking action towards it you might want to check with your subconscious mind and the way you can do that is by working with your nervous system so you can do something called somatic exercises, so slow breath work, um, tapping like that on you. Um, or if you feel some sort of anxiety when you're trying to do something or you're trying something new, taking a walk, you know, like getting that excess of like anxiety out of your body by moving, because that's what happens with cortisol, like you want to that's the actually the point of cortisol like it's uh, the stress levels you have to move once it's you know it's in your body because that's the purpose of it it's supposed to like make you like go like in fight mode like you know because um our nervous system is very primal that's what we um have uh, because back then you know when we used to live you know in nature there were a lot of predators like animals that we had to fight off and so cortisol was very important because it would just give us this like boost of adrenaline to like start running or like fighting with the animal, whatever we decided to choose. But um, what's interesting is that our nervous system hasn't changed, you know, our lifestyle changed, of course, but our nervous system hasn't. So by understanding that and understanding like, oh, I'm not lazy, I'm not procrastinating or I'm not being consistent, I'm just... Um, in survival mode or I'm maybe I'm, I'm I'm frozen right now maybe my nervous system is like trying to keep me safe in this familiar uh, state um, but it, it's not serving me anymore so by doing these somatic exercises and combining them with subconscious reprogramming so the subliminals because you know you want to put your nervous system into you know rest and digest but you're, you also want to create these new neural pathways these new thoughts these new goals you know in your brain to create change that's how we create change that's how we evolve as humans um so it's not just mindset you know that's why when people are like well just 
change your mind or like think about it that way because of course you know we can have a conversation and be rational about it but at the end of the day you know we're animals we have a nervous system that's very primal and when we learn to work with it we're actually working with nature and not against it um so that's how you take the first step you regulate your nervous system if you're having a hard time to like take the first step and then uh, with somatic exercises and then you also use subliminals to make it permanent to create these new beliefs as well because your subconscious mind once again is going to control 95% of your daily actions so if you're working against your subconscious mind you're working against yourself and you're working against nature so this is how you take the first step um, but of course you have to be gentle with yourself you know that process sometimes it might take you know a few times to like get it right which is fine like no one's perfect um, but at least you're gonna be able to create change in your life and to have a more peaceful life all right and you're gonna be able to achieve your goals as well so let me know if you have any questions comments and I'll see you tomorrow